Hi everyone, it's Bobby at Bloomin' Hearts. Um, like I told you yesterday, I will show you how I color in this truck. This is the card I made for you yesterday with the truck. Um, I didn't color the truck part yesterday because it would make the video be too long. So I'm, I've gotten several messages from people saying, don't forget you're going to post the coloring the truck. So I'm going to do that this morning before I get busy doing something else. Now, like I told you, I like to use the Copics. It's just a matter of preference. But um, you can use anything you want. And I just took a really light blue and just based in the windows because in the finish card you can see the sky through the back. So I just put a real pale blue in here. And this is just the way I do it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the way. Is just what works for me so and I didn't bring any browns in here I forgot about the wood piece on the back okay so I've got four choices of gray for the tires I'll go in there and get some earth tones in a minute for that little box because the box down here is I'm just going to base these in with a real pale gray on the tire in the hubcap just one solid color and there's just a hint of a tire over here and then the grill will be chrome so I'll do it and around the headlights and then there's a little uh, mirror and a handle there and this little step needs to be chrome so then I'll go to the next shade and I just add a little bit of color to it. Is it you know, and I always start light because you can always add in more. But once you get a dark color in there, you're not taking it out. So just take your time and don't worry about making it perfect from the get go because you can always go back and add more color. And then I like to, well, let me go around these real quick, around this trim. And I just put a little tiny hint of color on those because they're so tiny. And then on the step, you want a little dark at the front and the back of the step. So it stays lighter in the middle. And then we'll just kind of smooth that out a little bit. And the same way with the tires. Let me put a little dark in the center of this hubcap wheel. There we go. Now I'm going to go to the third gray. I may not need the fourth one. So, put a little bit under the fender and then we'll go around to the right side. That's where it's darkest. I didn't put any of the light on the bumper either, did I? That wasn't very smart. But you can always go catch it. It's no big deal. Okay, and we'll just smooth these out with the lightest color, just kind of make a swirly motion. Okay. Oops, almost put the wrong cap on that. I've been known to do that. Okay, so let's take the second color on the grill here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll just put a little shadow down below this center emblem here. And then on the bumper, a little bit on each side. We don't want it to be too dark because then it won't look like it's chrome. And just kind of blend them a little bit across the center. Okay, so that ought to be good enough for the grays. Let me get some browns real quick. And we'll do that wood grain. Okay. I wasn't even thinking about that. Those wood slats on the back of it when I brought these colors in here. This is E31 and this little 
I guess it's a little storage box here. I always start with my lightest color. And then these are little wood slats here. I'm thinking this is a farm truck. What do y'all think? He's hauling grain or something. Now this is not a lot darker, but we need to go light. And this will be the dark side of the box. So I'm going to put a little shadow in that. A little bit under this lid. And then we can smooth it out. Now on these boards, you're just going to kind of streak it from where the boards join the next one. And then right up against the truck where it would be darkest. Let's skip that one and go to this one. And put a little bit more darker in here. I'm going to do the same with this color. Now, I don't do a lot of blending on the boards because if you do, you lose the streakiness and that's where your wood grain shows up. Okay, now I'll put a little of this darker color, but not much. Just a tad for shadows. And I am just barely touching it to it because the dark a little bit goes a long way with this dark color. Okay. Now I'm going to take the light one just to smooth out this little storage box a little bit. I hope my head's not getting in there too bad. Okay, now to the reds. I've got three reds. A light, a medium, and a dark. I've got R17, 46, and 56. And the 56 is, is called current. It's kind of a purpley red. So they're called lipstick orange. It's kind of an orange red, strong red, and current. So, they just look good to me, so I picked them. So, I'm just going to base in this entire back section. And be real careful with your edges. You don't want to go over. I just like coloring. It's To me, it's relaxing and... I like seeing the finished product. It's kind of creative. Okay, so we'll get this all based in and then we'll add some shadows. Okay. Don't want any white spots. There we go. And we'll go to the medium color and where these little slats are here on the side I'll just add a little of this medium color just to make them stand out a little bit from the body of the truck and I'll just drag a little color across here and up under this piece of you know the old trucks used to have a rolled edge on them there and then at the top of the fender and then down on this side of the fender. And we'll go back to the light color and just kind of blend these in a little bit. And it doesn't take a whole lot just uh, to obliterate any definite line in there. And then we'll take the dark color, the current, and we'll do the same thing with it. Just add deeper shadows. So it's going to be 
darker behind the fender. Put a little shape on that and right here. And then we'll blend that out. And it really doesn't need a lot of blending. It's I'm liking it. This is just red along here at the bottom. At the bottom edge. Okay. And then on the darker gray, I'm going to go up under the wheel. Whoops. I want that big old fat chisel edge. Up under the wheel well where it's darker by the tire. And let's get this one up here while we're in it. And then it's got a spot where the painted area shows. You know, I'm going to make that a little bit lighter gray. I don't think it should be the red. I didn't do it red on the other one, I don't think. It's just a little bit lighter. Where the light's shining on it. Okay, the lightest color, yep, 17. Let's go up here to the top of the cab, and this is such a tiny little area. Barely going to touch it to get right in there without getting it where it doesn't belong. I'm just... Put a light coating of the red in there. And around the windows. It doesn't take too terribly long. You just have to Pay attention to what you're doing so you don't get red in the wrong place. And we'll go on down the door while we're here. Around the little handle. See, it comes together pretty quick, doesn't it? Okay, so now we need our shadows. So this is a little bit and lower than the hood, so we'll put some dark in there. And the top of the cab just to give it some shape. And behind the window. And behind the fender. Let's blend this out a little bit. Not too much blending on the roof because it's so little already. And maybe just a little bit of the darker color, not a lot. A little bit under the hood there. space in the top of the hood here. Doesn't want 
Okay, and this little fender over here. Just a tiny bit of it. Okay. Now, see it's coming together pretty quick, don't you think? Okay, so we're going to put some shadows behind this light and the grill and some on the front of the fender like we did in the back. I don't know what that is there. I don't know if it's supposed to be chrome or painted like the rest of the car. I don't know what it is, so I just painted it red. Oh, painted, I colored it. And we'll put some shadows up here in the front. Smooth those out. Makes a really cute card, and it's hard sometimes to find cards that are masculine enough. So, you know, with this stamp set, the the country living with the boots and the guitar, and and then the old truck, it's kind of a neat stamp set gives you some different options for making the fellows a card. So there's that shadow. Okay. And there's that. Now I'll have to make a card base for this one put the background in like I did the one yesterday. Okay. There we are. There's your truck. It's not too hard. It didn't take all that long. I don't know how long this video was. I didn't pay attention to the time when I started it, but it just turns out really neat. I love the card and the, the truck. I actually remember these trucks. I know. Makes me old, doesn't it? Oh, well. It happens to us all one day. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what yours looks like. It'd be cool. I would enjoy it when you color it. Um, post it and let me know where it's posted. I'd love to see what you've done. Thanks a lot for joining me, and I will see you guys later. Bye!